So hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Now in this video, I'm going to reveal a very cool amazing trick to remember the shapes of different kinds of molecule. Alright, so let us start our video. See, we have to remember a number that is 21, 22, 23, don't go for 24, enough, okay? <laughs> then 31, 32, next let's come to 41. 42 then last 51 all right now you might be thinking what are these numbers i have written here just see here this is bond pair bond pair of electron the left side numbers are bond pair of electron and the right ones are lone pair of electron see for example this trick what i'm going to reveal now what i'm going to discuss now this is for these kinds of molecule for example you are given a, you are given a molecule which has two bond pair of electron one lone pair of electron or four bond pair of electron one lone pair of electron so in this manner for this type of compounds the trick what i'm going to tell in few seconds it will be useful all right now let us divide this number like this two this one okay then let us take the threes department three all right now let us leave these three numbers as one group now what you have to do is now let me tell you one uh, let me come to the trick you might have heard this right bts maybe bts it's one of the most famous korean band series music brand music band series right you might have heard this bts bts army or something like that i don't know much about it but you might have heard about that bts so you have to remember this bts with this bts a small modification what you have to do is just add l here small l okay bts remember bts just small modification what you have to do is add l it's a trick to remember now what you have to do is see this one is we call b then this will be l this will be l then these two numbers we will take it as t then the last three we will take it as yes how we have to remember this bts i told you right bts small modification l bts small modification l now what it means is here b means bent okay b means bent shape next l means linear it means i mean linear a here okay yeah so what it means is whenever you come across molecule which has two bond pair, one lone pair or two bond pair, two lone pair, then that molecule's shape is bent shape. All right. Now T, T means we have two subshapes in T. First is trigonal, trigonal pyramidal, trigonal pyramidal and the second one is T shaped. Now, how to remember this? How we can remember this? If you go and look in the English alphabets, which letter will come first? P or S? Of course, P, right? P, R, S, P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R, S. First, P will come, then S will come. So, in this way, we can remember that first trigonal, pyramidal, then T shaped. Getting my point? First, P will come, then S will come in the English alphabets. So, we can remember this. Next, let us come to S. First, S means directly in your mind, it should strike first will be c shaped seesaw shaped okay first will be seesaw shaped because yes right so s is dominant so first seesaw shaped then next from s what we can do square next comes square planar then at last we have square pyramidal okay getting my point now if you get confused, first square pyramidal will come or first square planar will come. If you get confused with that two terms, then let me tell you. First, L will come or Y will come. Y is the from last second letter, right? Second letter, right? So Y and Z. Last from last second letter is Y. But in the middle itself, you will come across L. So first L will come, then Y will come. In this manner, you can remember this. No other confusions. Because many students have seen, they'll get confused whether first square pyramidal will come or square planar will come. Very simple. First L will come, then Y will come. Finished. Very simple. Don't, not, not a great hectic in that. Okay. Here also, first P will come, then S will come. Here, L will come first, then Y will come. No more confusions. So, in this manner, we have learned the trick to remember whenever we come across this type of bond pair and lone pair. 
now here i have discussed we have some lone pair but what if they give you a compound a substance or something which doesn't have any lone pair okay which doesn't have any lone pair if you come across that type of uh, uh, molecules then what you will do see for that also we can remember let me tell you one thing see let's take 20 30 40 50 60 what is this as i told you the first letter i mean the first number is bond pair second is lone pair here i have taken lone pair some lone pair i have taken one lone pair two lone pair three lone pair similarly here we don't have any lone pair if molecule doesn't have any lone pair if you come across this type of molecules which has bond pair but no lone pair so for those kind of molecules what is the shape is for this molecule the shape is linear now 3 3 means try 3 means try so with with the hint of try we can remember as trigonal planar it's plain not pyramidal no complex okay just plain planar trigonal planar try 3 trigonal planar then 4 means tetra you might be knowing it all these things try tetra means 4 means tetra so therefore tetrahedral then five bond pair zero lone pair it means trigonal trigonal by pyramidal trigonal by pyramidal then at last we have octahedral octahedral see i have given you a hint like tri means 3 trigonal planar we can remember this tetra means 4 tetrahedral now this trigonal bipyramidal how to remember this just see here tri means 3 right tri means 3 bi means 2 3 plus 2 5 very simple here only we have the hint okay tri we have hint 3 tetra we have hint 4 it means tetrahedral 5 for 5 tri plus bi is equal to penta that is 5 trigonal bipyramidal tri plus bi 3 plus 2 is 5 trigonal bipyramidal so for this kind of molecule which has zero lone pair and for this kind of molecule which has 1 2 3 or something lone pair we have discussed the trick okay this is very important trick bts just add l modification bts modification l bts modification l that's all okay so in this manner we can remember the shape and we can learn the shape of all these type of compounds thank you if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe button okay thank you thanks a lot